there, I'm Whitney Isaac, Minister for Environment and Parks here in Alberta. This is Ryan Laverty from TC Energy. Ryan, where are we today? We're out here at uh, Sharp Hills. We're at Sharp Hills, Sedalia, Alberta, home of the 300 megawatt Sharp Hills Wind Project. So TC Energy, a pipeline company, and you're here at a wind farm. Tell us about that. Yeah, I think, I think there's a bit of a misnomer, I guess, that TC is a pipeline company. I think that's what everyone does know us as, but we're an energy infrastructure company. And we're actually been in the power business in Alberta since deregulation back in sort of 2001. So for us, being part of a project like this is just part and parcel to our business, uh, growth of our business, and right, growth of our decarbonization strategy. So tell us, Sharp Hills and other uh, wind and renewable projects like it, how important is that to TC and, and, and to Alberta's energy landscape? I think it's very important. I mean, it, I think you said it earlier, it, Alberta is about energy, and I think we are we need energy of all kinds. The Alberta system is an enabler for all kinds of types of generation. Right? We've historically had a lot of coal, a lot of natural gas fire generation, but the world is changing, and the economics of, of renewable energy have changed dramatically over the course of time. And I think Alberta is particularly well positioned with the resources we have to be able to to be able to move forward with solar, wind, geothermal, as we discussed earlier, biomass. I think we have a particularly competitive uh, advantage here. It's known in our uh, oil and gas space, but in, in the electricity market, I think we've shown we can be a leader. And I think, you know, for me, I've, you know, it's, I'm, I'm proud to be part of it, to be honest. Well, I'm proud that you're part of it too. I'm proud that TC Energy is part of it. We are out here building a new wind farm in Alberta, 300 megs electrons coming onto the grid. It's great for economic opportunity, economic growth, and ultimately energy security. Thanks so much.